Hola, Minecraft fans, it's Collins, and we got a tutorial today for Magneticraft. Today we're going to build this crusher, and I'm going to show you how this works really quick. There's some components you have to make, so we need carbide ingots, and what you do is you take some tungsten, which you mine in the world, and you surround it with coal, and you get eight carbide ingots. And then you can make these machine housings with some stone, carbide, and iron, and then you can make a multi-block with machine housing and um, iron ingots and you're going to need a bunch of these. We're going to need 46 of these total to make a um, crusher and then you can take one of these multi-blocks and turn it into I.O. with a chest this input output and then we need power so low voltage cable an easy way to make that is with some a copper ingot and some wool you get two of these there's other ways to make it too and then you combine a cable with a multi-block and you get a energy I.O. because we need one of those and then to make the controller you need to make a battery which is copper iron and some sulfur and then you make some copper coils with the iron bar and some copper and use the copper coils to make an electric motor that's copper and iron and copper coils and then finally you can take your crusher controller and make that with the multi-block couple pistons couple electric motors battery and some iron and that's gonna make our crusher controller you can place this. You you need to place it one block above the ground. So go ahead and place it right there. And uh, you actually need the block below it. So if you right click this, you can do it with an empty hand. You can do it with um, tools in your hand. When you right click it, it creates a ghost image of the crusher right there. You can see it. So that's why we obviously need this block out of the way because we're going to have to put a component machine chassis there. Uh, the other thing you can do with this is you can use a wrench and you can use the Magnetocraft wrench or you can use other wrenches and you can right click this with the wrench and what it's going to do is change the side so you can see the bulk of it's on this side and then we switch it with the wrench the bulk of it's on this side and all that really does is change the input and the output um, let's go ahead and build it So we have most of our blocks in place. Let's go ahead and um, click this controller anymore. And you can see right behind them where the controller is, we need a power. So that's power IO. And then inputs are on the sides in the, in the corner, like in the middle of the bulk of it. So over here and right in the middle on the other side is another input output. And then once you build the entire structure, all you do is you right click the uh, controller with an empty hand and it should turn into the um, crusher and there we have a complete crusher and if you break one of these blocks it will disappear and then you can also just put it back in place um, obviously if you're in survival mode if you break the block you'll get it back and one other thing to note is this is something I suggest to do with most machines uh, especially multi-block machines is I just pressed F9 and we can see the chunk borders so make sure that if you build one of these multi-block structures it's probably a good idea to keep it less buggy to keep it within the same chunk so make sure that you bring up chunk borders and build your machine where the uh, so, so that it's all within the same chunk and we're gonna go ahead and just power this with the um, creative power so it's low voltage and it's in the back and now you can see it has power and the input is this side with the framework on it so we built it backwards normally the framework would be over on this side and so you can just stick ores in here let's grab some ores and you can use um, whatever interface you want to input ores into this thing Oh hey, that's our output. <laughs> All right, so this framework is the output, and this is the input. And it's getting full power, so you can see it's moving things pretty fast. Oh look, it's got a little display up there. Cool. And then it's going to output over here. And there is a chance that you'll get dust with some of these. Uh, there's a small chance that you'll get dust as a bonus output, but normally um, each ore turns into these chunks, 
and each of these chunks if you process them alone uh, you can just cook them in most furnaces and you get two ingots per chunk or you can use it further with the um, sifter and uh, there's another machine and we can go into that later but that's how we build our crusher and that's our first magnetic craft machine so thanks everybody for watching thanks everyone who likes and subscribes and we'll catch you guys later